Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Arotrak and we are playing Europa New Solace 4 with the newest DLC, Golden Century. Welcome back to Venice on hard difficulty. So, we are still at war with Tondo, but we got out of our war with Ming. We now have Canton and Macau under our thumb, which is pretty good. I like it, like both of these are good provinces that we can develop. We could actually consider just like taking the, the whole East Guangdong. Um, Pretty sure I'm butchering these names. My knowledge of Chinese is not that, not that good. Which is actually a shame. Like so many people speaking Chinese, uh, and I can't understand it. Oh, I mean, one or other of the Chinese dialects. Um, yeah, I'm actually considering making this a state. That's actually like a consideration. This is really good land, and um, what we could consider is just like converting these then culture flipping them not sure if it's worth it but like i would i would find it incredibly funny to have a like a a, a venetian a venetian area in, in china <laughs> that would just be that's just too funny for me uh, i mean, we could also just make a, a venetian taiwan over here that's probably something that we could do we also be incredibly cheap, what the heck? Innovativeness, enlightenment, same religion overseas. Whoa! Okay, I did not know that that was so cheap. What the fuck? Oh man, we're doing this. We are so doing this. This is gonna... This is... This is gonna... Why is this not cheap? Yeah. Innovativeness, enlightenment. Why is it not? Why is this not counted as overseas? So I guess I guess this is this is still part of normal life. Okay, sure. This also still counted as normal. No, that's normal. This is overseas. I'm not sure what the logic is in those. I don't quite get it. So this is. Not overseas. This. Not overseas. This. Overseas. How so? That's odd. It's really odd. But yeah, we, we could probably... Yeah. Are we really having a lot of unrest? I mean, we're a, we're a republic, so we already have a lot of unrest reduction in any case. It's probably not worth it to, like, use our rare diplo power for this kind of stuff. I think. Might not just, it might just not be worth it, I guess. So we'll wait for our, wait for our guy to come back here. That's a thing. Um, Brazil? Seems to be they're kind of pushed back here. United States. United States are not doing well against Newfoundland. Too many liberties. Yeah, there's some prestige for, no, for Republican tradition. I take that. We're very prestigious in any case. We did really well here in this war, I'd say. Uh, next war should happen. Now, Denmark took this away from us, which annoys me. Um... Uh, and I'm pretty sure they are, they are like trying to pull stuff away here. Actually, it doesn't really help Denmark to have power in this node. It just it just doesn't help them. It's not important. It's just two ins, one out. Malacca is the one where we need the power. So I'm actually thinking of attacking Malacca directly, taking the rest of the land that they have. Apart from what. Austria controls. Yeah, Tondo wants peace, and I kind of I tend to agree with you about peace and all. So full annexation. Yeah, coalition, all that kind of stuff. Who cares, really? Hey. Oh yeah, no, we gotta take Manila too. Would result in the annexation of vassalization. That is gonna give us sixty-two point nine overextension. And then I guess we take all the money that you have. 62.9. How far are we currently overextended? So, that would just about do it. 
Oh man, I would just about do it. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, we had 999 military power again. God damn it. Could you not? 20, 21. And we lost, we lost the unit of military power here. 22. Right. Looking good. Oh, we don't even have a manpower building here. That's odd. We'll give us another 1,750 men. We'll take that. Um, I don't think we're going to reach 100. Right? If I'm, if I'm seeing that correct, we have 62. So let's have 60, 62. No, we would reach 100. Okay. We've got we're gonna to stay a little bit longer at war with Tondo. That's okay. That's okay. We'll live with it. We're gonna be fine. Oh yeah, crap. We sh we should have probably embargoed these guys, but it's just ten years. Yeah, that's a bit foolish of me. Who else needs to be embargoed? Great Britain. Are we embargoing you, GB? We're not, but we do now. And Russia is already being embargoed. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Okay, yeah, let's do it then. We officially embargoed Russia. So we're embargoing two of our three rivals. Conquered provinces from Ming, conquered provinces from Bermanis. That's good. And Bermanis has actually the gall to claim some of my stuff. That's not right, Bermanis. Oh, and these guys are allied with Jaffna. Okay, I don't like that, to be sure. I'm I'm not a fan of that at all. I wonder... French Pigo Imperialist War. Defend against France in the French Pigo Imperialist War. That's nasty. France, what are you doing here, buddy? Why are you, why are you being so unpleasant? I need to know. What's the what's your deal? Well, it's 96 power. That's just five percent of the whole total power. There's still some being pulled away here. Some over here. Oh yeah, right. What we can do is set these guys to work again. Hello. Protect trade in the Gulf of Aden node, please and thank you. Uh, we have we have still a lot of force limit. And considering that, I'm like gonna push this up. So like let's say 50 or something seems reasonable right Karamanese revolutionaries I think Karaman lost its army in China or in Ming I actually have to rebuild stuff these guys do we need like an eastern trade fleet uh, anywhere where we're like losing significant amounts of trade Maybe over here in the Strait of Malacca. Um, so, protect trade in Malacca. I'm mean, already pretty strong here, but. Go maybe up to 40 here. And then the other thing that we could definitely do at home is we'll have our. All of our fleet come to Ragusa, I guess. Does Ragusa have... No, you don't really have it, even anything that can repair things fast. Really not up to date with our buildings. That's just not right. Okay, we have a grand shipyard at home in Venice. Venice itself. So come home to Venice. We, we want to upgrade this fleet. Come on, you can do it. Upgrade this fleet, yes. Uh, and we kind of like also want to boost this further up. I mean, we're filthy rich. Why would we not? Let's go up to 100 on this one. Ah, we converted the heretics of Brunei. Love it. Tondo wants out. We guess guess we kind of still have to wait for the core construction. 
No, wait, what? Why is this red? Oh, because they have a they have a core there. Oh no. Eh, no. Okay, that's shitty. That's really shitty. I'm trying to core cool this place. To get our extension done. I mean the extension here is, is not the is not the real not the real thing. Not the real problem. So listen, Malika. About that. Really? You've Ming as your ally? <laughs> and Ming would come in. I mean. Shall we do this? Isn't this is is this not like insanity? To like go go against Ming right away again? What is this? Hamburg? Fuck off. Yeah, all these all these nasty countries are coming in here and trying to get a piece of the cake. Hamburg is certainly gonna pull this into another direction. I want to see where they're pulling it, so... Yeah, Hamburg has a, an Indonesian charter. Transfer to Bengal. I mean, it's not an amazing province, but... I want Malacca. I need Malacca. Do we want to go to war against... Against Ming now? Again. Is that is that something that is worth it? I don't know. Where's our where's our big fleet? The Eastern fleet here. Full fleet of three deckers. I wonder if we would do better now against them. I mean, I still like I still have my army over here. The problem is we wouldn't get rid of our overextension here either. Then that would be that would be a problem. All right. I mean, I like Ming throwing its weight around in the area. What they can't prevent is. Just people um, selling off their land and doing bad things that way. I'm I'm really mad that France is in this and is hurting Ayutthaya. So maybe they've no debt. But what about what about if we give them subsidies? Well, let's say we give you uh, Ayutthaya is actually very strong. I think they are one of the great powers. No, they're not. Did I remember that wrong? Yeah, I'm totally remembering that wrong. So, income... Great Britain, Ming. It was Ming that I remembered. Where are you, Ayataya? Oh, they're making only 84. Listen, buddy. Um, subsidies. Yeah. Have a hundred. And you build some mercs, right? Build some mercs on me. Merchants spread thin. With merchants dealing in trade all over the world, seems as if we struggle to support them properly. So a few rich exploiting capitalists just have to be downsized. No, we're going to support them anyway. Uh, we got to think about where we put our merchants. That I think Wenzhou over here is actually pretty good. So we'll, we'll send this dude over here. Just trying to pull a little bit more out of Hangzhou. That gets pulled into the right direction. There's like 30, 30 going to Beijing, which at some point ends up in Venice, but um, it's not really going where we want it to go. We actually want to want it to go south and uh, enter the proper directions. Still take him a couple of days to come over here. Come on. Okay, so yeah, that is that is massively better. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, yeah, you can... 
You can continue to protect trade in Malacca then, I guess. Just do that then, buddy. We have some rebel factions. Ming will be forced to give Persia 10% of the income. Interesting. Alrighty. People are leaving the coalition against us. Ah, it's probably not a good idea to do that, but... I won't tell them if you don't. Look at that. Knights are actually swole here. Also, I gotta say, I love this. I love that unit model. Actually, it makes me want to play as the knights. This is really, really cool. Love it. Okay, Palawan, I guess. It's nothing cheap anymore to convert. Just really expensive stuff. Mill tech, next level. Um, almost at the point where we like. Um, and we have trade power boost here. Uh, was there a place that I wanted to boost? I think Treviso might be nice. No, we have the mill over here. We have the farm estate. We have the textile manufactory. We have farm estate here. Naval equipment manufactory. We have all the important things. Oh yeah, and uh, you guys go and protect trade in Genoa again. Like we're not making as much money as we used to. So is this like the heavy frigate model? I like it. Yeah, it is. Okay, nice. Could consider kicking out the the galleys, but galleys are still kind of what uh, Venice is all about. So I think we're okay there. Mm. Our galleys are really good. There's no real point uh, in just doing without them here in the Mediterranean. So 22, 24, 28. Like, just keep investing here. I have a lot of development. Getting close to 3,000 development. Bengal left the coalition. That's good. Good on you, Bengal. Hmm. We could have these guys drilling, but honestly, I'm not too interested in it. Okay. Shira's base manpower has increased by one point. That's nice like it. Profiteering in Obuno. Obino, let's protect our trade for sure. Adrianus the sixth is now controller. Yeah, you want you want military access, Malakai. Eh? Tributary state of Ming. My ass. We could just Yeah, these guys are still in the coalition against us. And their independence is guaranteed. So that's Nasty, gnarly. Might still just go after these guys, Lubu, to just finish him off. That's the, I still have an incentive to like kill Brunei. Methinks. This is not gonna get caught, but I kinda could like stop a bunch of these fools giving up their their lands. It would also be nice to just own this completely. Um, Brunei is not holding on to any important land, but... <clears throat> We're already forced to finish the war against Tondo, I think. So there are more of our trade ships. These look much more majestic than the early heavies. That's the trade fleet of Denmark. Your ships look kind of outdated. Is that the same ships that I'm using? I wonder. These guys could basically be destroyed in one fell swoop. How much have you invested in this? Zero times improved. Yeah. 
Culture changing in these areas is super cheap. Incredibly cheap. Nineteen ships queued up here. Okay, sure. Uh, also trying to convert it. Gotta go through more of my provinces, make sure that they have all been added to my to my trade stuff. To my trade companies. How are trade companies doing now? Uh Venetian Company of the Moluccas is just not strong enough. Fifty one or forty nine point eight. So, taking this would actually help us here, I think. Getting an additional merchant would be nice. Venetian Indonesia company. So, where's the Venetian Indonesian company? Why do we have two of those? Look, it's located in, in, in Indonesian chapter and has power in the Malacca trade node. So, this is that one. Why is this one not strong enough? 46.2 was 51. Yeah, I mean, I haven't really upgraded all these centers of trade that we have over here. What we could do, um, even while we're at war, is make sure that, we, that we've built stock exchanges everywhere. If we have these for any reason, it is to look good in terms of trading. So doing this definitely makes sense. Even in the Vogelkop Peninsula. Oh man, that was a lot of money for probably not a lot of output. But oh well. It's fine. That was fine. We're making so much money. Yeah, we're making 740 now. Look at this. Even though we're paying like 100, 100 in subsidies. <laughs> oh man, this is just perversion. Okay, all of these are good. Let the lottery decide. 653, awesome. Okay, the guilds are in power, which we don't which we don't want, so I guess I'm gonna spend a couple points to bring these guys into power again. Terrace on salt. Salt production in one of our colonies has come into focus. Seems that it generates quite a lot of money, perhaps too much without being properly taxed. In the spirit of mercantilism, we should force them to trade their salt through our ports instead. This will greatly benefit our own merchants and add a lot of income to the crown's coffers. Yeah, I'll tax it. Why not? And he's he's incorruptible too. Man, you're the best. Gotta say. 750 ducats is what we're making now. I mean, this is also because we're like adding trade ships to our fleets. And if you do it cleverly enough. Ooh, 15 government reform progress. Sure, Yemen left the coalition. Not sure that's wise, but you do you, buddy. You do you. Mm, yeah, this is still a major area. We could improve. Okay, we get fertility in Sulawesi. We're also losing trade here. We're too large, we're making 0.72. We're also trading in China where we have the expansion of the Great Council. Still not sure if I shouldn't make this like a proper state. Could be really useful. Hundred and thirty two, because we did some development. Damn it. 24, 28. And we'll do some developing here. Jaffna and Tondo wants. Oh, no, no. Tondo wants peace, but what about you, Jaffna? Great Britain? No, come on. Don't tell me that Great Britain is fighting with you. What are they doing? British Jaffna imperialist war. What the hell? I don't like that. Great Britain like wants space over here. 
Uh, that doesn't make me happy at all. Uh, tell you what. I'll just like bring this army over here and we'll attack him as well. Octavio Trevisanos. Okay, yeah, we'll develop something. Sweden. Sw Danish Swedish nationalist war against Denmark. Ah, oh, we have the defender of the faith. Denmark is allied with Brandenburg and Russia. Ooh, are we interested in this? Can we win it? Can I call my can I call my allies? I don't think so, right? Are we gonna do this? Are we gonna do this? Sure, I'll do it. I'll come to their defense. I have enough vassals to deal with this kind of crap, I think. It'll definitely allow me to destroy that Russian fleet over here. Um, Danish ships, I don't really see any. There's a Danish army over here. That's for sure. I think I will bring my fleet down there. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, Malika entered into the coalition against us again. Ah, we have to call for peace. Yeah, I'm sorry. That's not something that I can... Go with. This is not the ideal thing to happen to me. But our vassals are actually really, really strong at this point. Um, they have like... Uh, okay, we're not going to count the colonial subjects. Although Terra Nova has 24k now. I like that. But the Knights have 66. Naples has 50. So that's like 115... 136, 197, 250. So these these guys have like 250,000, which is quite a lot considering Russia has 280,000. So, and these guys have better ideas and better techs than, than Russia. We are in a war with Brandenburg though. No, actually, that's not a thing. Apparently, Denmark didn't call him in. Okay then. Okay, then. You really picked the wrong fight, buddy. Really picked the wrong fight. So, uh, listen, Sweden. Um, should we make territorial gains? Then I want this, and I want that for sure. Like, just... Denmark's not welcome here. Denmark's not welcome at all in the whole area. And then, if, we, if we're at the, on the subject of this, I also want this from Russia. <clears throat> if you would be so kind, that would be pretty amazing. Brandenburg has its entire army over here in the east. That's like, these guys are probably on holiday. they like just chilling in Indonesia. Whoa, okay, that's a lot of money. So, what friendly movement speeds? So, I'm paying 4,000 bucks. Just for one base tax? Like, no. Great initiative, but let the, let the private people do this. I think this is fine. Um, force March costs no power. That always is useful, so let's take it. Papal State is in a coalition. I'm not sure what I've done to you, Papal State. Let me check this. If I were to attack Jaffna now... Yeah, Cot and Bengal would both come in. But only... No, Bengal would come in in any case. Cot might not. Ok, 
Okay, I converted a province. I like that. Let's go ahead. Go for Jesselton. So I guess this army is useless on here. I'll just move him away then. I guess. Uh, land him over here. Then we'll probably take this Russian, this Russian province, and um, we could probably also try to take this, take this from Denmark. Nothing really against it. Um, how are my troops doing here? There's a Russian army. Oh no. Okay, this doesn't look too good. How are these guys doing so well? I wonder. I want to know. What's your secret, Russia? Did you? Yeah, it did take defensive and offensive. That's pretty offensive to me. Mercenary maintenance. Army professionalism. No, screw it. Let the mercenaries do whatever they want. Let's go full defense. I'm not happy that we lose the stability, but what can I do? What can you do? Um, let's bump this. What about Verona? It's decently cheap to develop this. I mean, we have the developer cost reduction on there. So I don't want to waste that many points. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Okay, Bengal is actually pretty strong now. Merchants call for trade protection war. I'm gonna say yes. Uh, we're already at war with a lot of people that are privateering against us, so maybe that'll that'll be good. Undeclared trade war now declared. Yeah. It is a bit weird that this happens from time to time, but I mean, if you know how it works, then you're probably okay. Um, yeah, right. I have to end the episode here. Next time we'll make peace with uh, Tondo. We are 92% now with these, uh, which should allow us to cool the rest. I'll do my best to get these occupations, but with Denmark not having pulled in Brandenburg, they're still winning pretty handily. Um, Florence is up here. I guess that's good. But yeah, a bunch of these guys are not doing too well. Hmm. Maybe I should, instead of just having them siege, maybe I should just set them to be, like, aggressive. Aggressively hunt down enemies. Like, a lot of these guys have really big armies. If they were trying to catch the enemy armies instead of sieging places that are unprotected, maybe that maybe that would help a lot, I think. Um, we'll give this to Florence, though. Because um, they're already here. So they should, they should do this. We'll tell them. I guess we should give the others also some, some things to do. But yeah, if Florence takes this, then there's definite entrance into... Denmark and that could end badly for them. But yeah, for now, thanks for watching. Hope you join me next time. Bye bye.